The last wide receiver to talk about here that is definitely not <laughs> that is definitely not the number one wide receiver in the league or a number one wide receiver on a team. And we know this instantly because he's not catching any passes. And now he's making excuses that seem like absolute wild nonsense to even say or even to think about. I don't even know if I would even think about saying this. And he went out there and said it anyway. So Jamar Chase says he's struggling to adjust to catching an NFL ball. Here's what he has to say, folks. This is what he has to say. Get ready because it's a doozy. Here we go. The ball is different because it is bigger. It doesn't have the same white stripes on the side, so you can't see the ball coming from the tip point, so you actually have to look for the strings on the top of the ball, which is hard to see because whole ball is brown and you have the six strings that are white. Jamar Chase is blaming his drop struggles on the ball. On the ball, the college ball was smaller and it had big white stripes that you could see at a half a mile away. This NFL ball is bigger and it's a lot browner. I can't see it. Y'all can see this ball? Y'all telling me you can see this brown thing coming at me? What do y'all focus on? The little white things at the top? The strings? The white strings? I have to focus on the white strings? But that's, I only see brown. This is what the man is saying, folks. And y'all wanted to clown me on my YouTube comments because I said I'm worried about Jamar Chase. And now he's saying he can't catch the ball because it's too big and brown. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'll let y'all say that. I'll let y'all still believe in Jamar Chase, even though that he just said these words right here. The ball is too hard to catch because it's big and brown. Not a lot, not enough white on it. This is what the man said, folks. He said these words. He thought this would be good to say. He thought this would make him look better if he said this. This is why he said it. This is the number one wide receiver taken in this year's draft. The ball is too big and brown. That's why I can't catch it. It's not me being a year removed from the game. It's not me not being able to get separation against grown men out here in the NFL system. It's that the, brown, the ball is too big. Too brown. Y'all can see this brown object flying at you? Maybe he's colorblind. Maybe he just doesn't see brown. That could be a case. When was the last time he got his eyes checked? Did he take a couple of years removed off from going to his yearly eye appointment? Do y'all understand what this man just said right here? <laughs> but I'm wrong for having <laughs> for having concerns about Jamar Chase <laughs> and saying that Jalen Waddle's already a lot better than him in the league and saying that Devontae Smith, who both those wide receivers went after Jamar Chase. This was the the, the Bengals made this decision. They had their cream of the crop, and they chose a man. That says a ball is too big and brown for me to catch it. The ball is different because it is bigger. It doesn't have the white stripes on the side, so you can't see the ball coming from the tip point. So you actually have to look for the strings on the top of the ball, which is hard to see because the whole ball is brown. And you have the six strings that are white. This is what the man is saying, folks. Are you listening? Are you listening to what this man is saying? One of five catches in the preseason because the ball is too big and brown. Well, I hate to say it, but the regular season game ball is the same game ball in the preseason. So that's unfortunate. Ball doesn't get any less brown and doesn't get any smaller. So... <sighs> The man has never been practicing catching a NFL ball. <laughs> Wild. So uh, we see that the Bengals didn't do their due diligence on Jamar Chase. Were they using college footballs in all the kind of practice sessions in the private workouts? Because that may have not been the smartest decision. Jamar Chase is like, hang on, y'all got the big brown balls? No, 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 I'm used to the smaller brown 
bigger white ones, the smaller white ones. Where are those at? That's what I can catch. I can catch it. Yeah, those ones. Yeah, give me those ones. And the Bengals were like, eh, that's a little odd. But okay, we'll cater to them. We kind of like them. Kind of want them. So we'll cater to them. We'll throw them college footballs. But at the end of the day, that was a bad move on their part. They should have been throwing them the, the big brown balls. So, y'all can hate on me. I've got no problem with y'all hating on me. I see what y'all say about me. I don't care. <laughs> I see what y'all say. I don't care. Uh, but, um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm still getting... <laughs> I'm still having my doubts on Jamar Chase, and I am this close, folks. I am this close. After this statement, I am now this close of saying this man is a bust, wiping my hands of this whole situation, and just moving on. I don't care about Jamar Chase anymore, folks. Truly. You're going to use this as an excuse of why you're dropping all the passes? Uh, good luck. Good luck. Uh, I don't know. How can you defend what he... How can anybody defend? If I was the Bengals, and I heard somebody say this... If it's not a rookie, I cut him immediately. I cut him immediately. Even maybe a rookie. If he's not a first-round pick, I cut him. What the hell did you just say? You said you can't catch the ball because it is big and brown and you can't see the white on it? You're gone. Get the hell off my team. I don't watch you anymore. Jamar Chase, you're lucky that you are their first first-round pick. Because anybody else is not getting this treatment. You get cut immediately. And you get blackballed from the league. And you can go back to playing maybe, uh, Can I don't know what the Canadian Football League uses. Maybe they have a smaller, brighter ball that will just pop and sparkle. Maybe we should be bedazzling these footballs so Jamar Chase can see it. <laughs> the, <laughs> the man can't see the ball, folks. The man cannot see a ball coming at him. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I can't wait to see this, man. Week one. Oh, man. Week one film study on Jamar Chase. Oh, we're going to have a field day. I cannot wait. So that's y'all's favorite wide receiver. <laughs> Making excuses because the bra ball is too brown. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, y'all. Y'all y'all go with that one. <laughs> I can't believe he said that. So that's the differences in wide receivers that we just talked about. Amari Cooper. I think I'm the best receiver in the league, but I don't think I've proven it. I've got a lot more to prove and a lot more to show. I'm ready to go and show it. Corey Davis. I'm a number one wide receiver in this league. I know I am, and I'm ready to show it. I'm ready to work with Zach Wilson. I've been putting in the work. I've been putting in the time. So our chemistry, uh, you know, year one is good to go week one. And then we get Jamar Chase. Yeah, I can't catch the big balls. Yeah, those are too big. Y'all got anything smaller? What about Tom Brady's guy? He's got somebody that can shorten the ball. I heard he, he makes the ball smaller, right? That, what? Oh, that's illegal. Oh, you can't do that? But Tom Brady did it. I'm not Tom Brady. Can you give me the guy's number that did it? Okay. So, that's Jamar Chase. <laughs> One of these things is not like the other. <laughs> One of these things just doesn't belong. I'll let y'all make the decision if it's Amari Cooper, Corey Davis, or Jamar Chase. It's Jamar Chase. <laughs> Let's move on because that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Truthfully. All right. 